Hello, I'm Kelsey Kushner. Thanks to all of you watching us on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. Now, the Memorial Day holiday weekend has been marred by the violence plaguing Baltimore City. This morning, a woman was found shot to death inside her car at a park and ride lot in South Hanover. And that came after a wave of deadly shootings Saturday night in neighborhoods across Baltimore. WJZ is live. Christina Mendez joins us from Pratt Street, the site of one of those shootings. And Christina, you're hearing about the young life lost in that shooting at the Inner Harbor. Kelsey, family says that Neil Mack was a volunteer for an organization that tried to better our community through volunteer work and service. And they say that Neil's death will not be in vain. Instead, more dedication, more resources will go towards the youth to better their lives. In a Memorial Day tribute to those who lost their lives over the last year, Dr. Harold Carter Jr. reflects on many taken by gun violence. Our city is in many ways under great duress of violence. The holiday came with a painful reminder of the struggle our city has with shootings. Just before noon Sunday in East Baltimore, a brazen gunman hit a 15-year-old boy along North Lucerne Avenue. He was taken to the hospital for treatment. It's just unbelievably sad unbelievably out of control and we need to change the culture. Rewinding to Saturday night around 7.30 along the Inner Harbor, the shooting of a pair of 17-year-olds sent shockwaves through the Baltimore City Police Commissioner. Police say the girl survived, but Neil Mack did not. Family who shared these photos say Neil was a leader and a loving young man. This is not just shocking, but frustrating. And angering. Commissioner Michael Harrison says 20 officers were in that block of Pratt Street at the time, but this didn't deter the gunfire. It is about them having a total disregard for human life and a total lack of respect and disregard for authority and law enforcement. Later that night, gun violence continued in South Baltimore. Police say two men were found inside a car with gunshot wounds on Northeast Avenue, while a third was found nearby. Two of those victims died. Memorial Day weekend has been almost an upstart and an uptick for violence for the summer. And so in addition to that, our prayers are that that will not continuously be the case. So tonight, police need your help. If you know anything about any of these shootings we told you about, please call their agency. I'm reporting live from Inner Harbor tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. Christina, thank you. Mayor Brandon Scott is sounding off about the shooting in the Inner Harbor and violent crime in general, releasing this statement saying in part, quote, I am sickened that this plague continues to grip our city. Another senseless act of violence results in another life lost in our city. We can be better. I will continue to push every public staff agency to do more, but it will also require all of us to collectively say enough is enough.